at Delta. So that's awesome. I like that. That's smooth. That design is interesting. We are in the cordless tool section and it's actually disappointing in how little uh, of a selection of tools Menards has. Well, let's go through what they got. All right, so Menards carries Master Force, carries Master Force, Bosch, I think this is Metabo, yep, Metabo, Metabo, Hitachi, Works, they have Works, uh, Porter Cable, which that's actually the only tool I see of Porter, Porter Cable is the radio more works they have black and decker and that's that's pretty i didn't even see craftsman that's pretty much it for what they have in cordless tools all right but let's let's go through with what they got oh uh, i think these are brushed 119 for a uh, brushed drill 180 for the kit which that comes with two twin bar batteries back in the charger. 279 for the hammer drill and impact driver kit. I think these are brushless. I think I think these two are brushless. I think. Yeah, those two are brushless, which those two are huge. That impact driver is huge. Uh, so Master Force has a grinder for $60. Master Force has a sander for $50, orbital sander. They have a recip saw for $89. Is this stuff brushless? I don't think so, it doesn't say. I think, yeah, this one's brushless for $129. This one is brushless. Uh, $100 for the quarter inch hex impact, $89 for the, th uh, I think that's a quarter inch, no, 3 eighths inch impact wrench, $219 for a half inch impact wrench. Is that brushless? Doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say if it's brushless or not. It might not be their brushless. It might be their brushless model. I'm not. I'm not too familiar with Master Force. Never owned one. Eighty-nine for a six and a half inch circular saw. Is this brushless? It does not say. It says flex power. I do not know what flex power means. Seventy dollars for a jigsaw. $100 for their, sorry, $150 for their seven and a quarter inch circular saw. $119 for their band saw. It's actually a nice size. I like that size. It's not too big. It's not bulky. That's actually a nice size band saw. That's not bad at all. $40 for a work light, 360 degree LED aerial light. $40 for uh, for Bluetooth radio. And so yeah, so that, so, oh, sorry. $100 for the impact alone. I'm not sure if that's a kit or if it's tool only. I think it's tool only. $50 for their uh, 3 8 inch right angle grinder. Thir uh, 30 to 40. All right, so $50 for their 3 8 inch right angle drill. Don't know what that is. Oil pulse impact. That's not on display. Now, their Bosch selection is actually pretty impressive. They do need a few more tools, but this is what we got. I'll, I'll pick this up if this is brushless. If this is brushless, I'll pick this up. I love these tools. I love the quarter inch hex uh, screwdrivers. I'm not sure if that's brushless or not. I, I doubt it. 
I, I don't think that is. They're... All right, so for $400, this is their combo kit. Yeah, they messed up on that. It's not two impacts, it's uh, the brushless hammer drill and their Freak Porter and Tex impact driver. 179 for their quarter inch hex impact driver and their drill driver. Both of those are brushed. All right, so for their brushed 129 tool only for their, uh, that looks like a half inch, a yeah, half inch brush to drill driver. Two, is that tool only? No, nope, that's a kit. That is a kit. So $200 for a battery charger for their brushless uh, yeah, EC brushless motor. Uh, looks like a two amp hour battery charger in a bag and the drill for $200. 300 for the brushless hammer drill. It comes with two two amp hour batteries, charger bag. So yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's actually a bit much for a single single tool $159 for their brushed freak quarter inch hex impact driver the kit comes with one battery charger and a bag for $150 this one's uh, the $200 uh, brushless kit same thing but it's just a brushless freak which that's not on display but they have it $119 for their brushed uh, that's actually pretty big for uh single-handed recip saw 120 for that that's it that's actually pretty massive now 12 volt tools i love 12 volt tools 129 for the, the brushless drill drill uh the brushed drill 129 for the 12 volt single-handed recip uh recip saw uh the kit i don't know if don't know what the pro $169 for the impact and drill driver kit comes with two batteries charging a bag $89 for a tool only I think all right the $99 for the like I said I, I love this tool this tool is awesome at the style of the tool but I do not know if that's brushless or not I wish I knew I'd pick that up if it was it doesn't say on there Uh, it's sixty dollars for a work light, which that's actually a little crazy for what it is. Then sixty dollars for this light as well, uh, twelve volt, twelve volt LED work light. All right, so for Metabo, uh, two hundred dollars for their brushless UVP uh, HPT recip saw. This thing looks like a beast. It has a, a light and digital settings on it. This thing looks like it's a beast. Uh, I'm not sure what the price is for this one. What's this? Yep, uh, $77. I think that's on sale for the brushed recip sock. $89 for the grinder. And then we have a kit for a brushless drill driver and quarter inch hex impact for $250. $150 for uh, the brush kit, which uh, the impact's missing, but there's the drill driver. I uh, don't know what the price is on that. That's the tri it's a triple hammer. HPT, I'm assuming that's brushless. Uh, $204 for that. $200 for their brushless hammer drill. Then there's $100 for the drill driver. I think that's tool, uh, I think it comes with the battery. I think that comes with the battery. The brushless kit, the price is missing. That is a drill driver only. $160 for the hammer drill i think it comes with a battery i'm not sure it might this might be a yeah it's a, it is a kit 
160, it doesn't say what the kit has. A three amp hour battery, rapid charger in a bag, and of course the tool. 150 for the Metabo brushless black version. I do not know what the display is on that. $179 for a kit, three amp hour battery, rapid charger in a bag for the impact driver. And then $70 for the screw gun. $70 for the screw gun. Uh, 3.6 volt uh, battery charger in a case for 70 bucks. And that is Metabo, what they have on display. When I think I missed the, I think I missed the, the, the saw. So $200 for the seven and a quarter inch brushless circular saw. All right, so when it comes to works, I've never actually used a works tool yet. Like this one is the famous one, the, the double headed collet to where you can have two different bits on there. The double headed, headed collet, that's $90. Uh, for an impact driver, $80 for the kit. Uh, includes a 1.5 amp hour battery and a ch charger. For the drill driver, $60. The same thing, one battery and a charger, a 1.5 amp hour. I think these are brushed. I do not know. $60 for the free sip saw. Brushed, I'm assuming. $109 for a bigger recip saw. $129 for the six and a half inch circular saw. Yeah, I'm not familiar with works tools at all. Uh, what's this, the multi-tool? $44, oh, that's on sale. For the multi-job tool oscillating tool if you will and yes uh, works also makes a little cutoff tool mini cu uh, cutter kit eighty dollars comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery and a charger in a bag and sixty dollars for a uh, five and a half inch saw which i think all these tools are brushed i think all of them are brushed and this is on sale sixty six dollars what is that, a six and a half inch? And when it comes to porter cable, this is the only tool that I, the cordless tool that I found a porter cable. That's it. A few more tools from Works. They have a jigsaw for $54.99. 2,600 strokes per minute. An another multi-oscillating tool, $100. Uh, comes with one two amp hour battery charger and a bag. Of course, not hundred dollars for the drill, uh, the drill driver and impact driver kit. Comes with one 1.5 amp hour battery charger in a bag, and this is a 3 8 inch drill. That's a little disappointing. That should come with two batteries. Seventy dollars for their their compact circular saw. And seventy dollars for. I think this is the same one that was down there. And 119 for a multi uh, sander. So I guess you could put different heads on the sander and just have one motor unit. And then of course, $47, uh, $48 for the work light. $48 for the work light. What's the lumens on this? 1500 lumens. So there you go. Then Black & Decker, you know, these are all brushed tools, which it's, go through this quickly, $70 for the drill driver. And that's just a drill driver, 3 8 inch chuck, I might add. $70 for the impact driver. Jigsaw, $50. $70, uh, $50 for the jigsaw. Recip saw, $50. And then, of course, they have their cheapo $30 for uh, 400 RPM drill. 
and a uh, tool shop, uh, one tool, $44 for their 3 8 inch uh, drill driver. And $20 for Black & Decker work light. Now, when it comes to brushless tools, that's it. That's all Menards has. Every other, every other tool is a corded tool. I just never seen it before. Yeah. Good morning. Doing good. Anything we can help with? Nope, I'm good. Okay. Just uh, obviously, so as you can see, all these uh, they have a lot of cord corded tools. Up, oh, they do have a cordless hundred dollar works uh, jigsaw right there in the mix. Corded, corded. It's all corded, corded. Like like they do, they do have some heavy duty stuff. Like the corded uh, SDS Bosch hammer drill for 600 bucks. Another one for 419. Like they do have some uh, hardcore, hardcore tools, but they're corded. Yeah, it's bench top stuff, band saws, drill presses. So like, uh, see, everything is. I'm 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 in the search for cordless stuff five hundred dollars for 15 amp delta 12 inch miter saw Ooh, i like that that's interesting instead of having the metal rods that is smooth that's delta that's seriously the, that's smooth that glides like no other all right, got his skill saw. This is a beast as well. See about that glide, is it's not smooth. This is $600. And Bosch, $649. Yeah, I like that too. I like that, that's nice. That's smooth. See, this, this type of miter saw is old school. Dude, like this is obsolete. I'm like, this is the smoothest miter saw I've ever slid. Like you don't even hear it. That's, inc that's insane. I love that design. I love that design. Oh, botch portable table saw. Six hundred dollars for that Delta table saw. Uh, do not know what the price is on that. Yeah, the price is gone. All right here are their roofing nail guns. Two forty nine for the Metabo. Of course, the compressor is required for these. Boss dish, 250. Oh. So Metabo, 249. Boss dish, 259. Master Force, 200. Tool Shop, 89. Hitachi, this is uh, the stapler, 229. And so on. So, so yeah, like what? But the, these these all require a compressor, which is actually depressing a little. Not depressing, but it would be nice if these were all cordless. Sixty dollars for the Performax. One hundred and nine finish stapler for the Bostish. 40 for the per Performax, 60 for the Master Force. So yeah, so on and so forth. Three fifty. This is the. For, I think that's that's gas powered. I think this is gas powered. 350 for the pa pass load, I think that's how you say it. 
400 for the Bastos. 430 for a Tashi. Another Tashi for 430. 400 for, I think these are gas. I don't know if these ones are battery. Yeah, this one might be battery. I think that's, that, that, yeah, that's battery. 279 for the Metabo. 350 for the Brad Nailer. 340, sorry. For a Tashi. 369 for an angled finish nailer. And what's that behind it? 369 for the straight finish nailer. So yeah. The tools that are sold at Menards are very disappointing. Like uh, they don't even they don't have that great of a brands. They have mainly Master Force Works and Bosch. Bosch is good, but the problem is is they barely have Bosch products in their store. They don't even have a, a like a very good variety of their main tool. They just have a, a a handful of tools, and that's pretty much it. Home Depot and Lowe's are like the pretty much the main stores where you can get the the most amount of tools in one location. Menards is garbage when it comes to their tool sales, you know. And so, I just want to explore that. I just wanted to upload this video and uh, show you guys what Menards carries. I do not know what else they carry. I didn't find any, I walked the entire store. I didn't find any like random displays of tools anywhere. It looked like that that one aisle is uh, where they have every single battery operated tool. And that's very disappointing. There should be like three there should be like about three or four aisles with non with all battery operated tools, but they only had one. Based on that, that is very disappointing, and you're you're better off finding uh, good tool deals and better variety of tools at Home Depot and Lowe's. And so yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to explore Menards really quick for you guys and show you guys what Menards has. And so yeah, so if you found this video entertaining and helpful, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.